Hi friends, Tim Schrock here from Design Build Solutions. Thanks so much for watching this video. Today I want to show you how I'm going to adjust deck framing to be a different angle. Let's get started. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Uh, thanks for liking, subscribing, for commenting. I enjoy the interaction with each of you. Let's get looking at this uh, situation here with this chief architect file. I drew the um, deck planks to run parallel with this part of the house and 45 with this part of the house. Well, now the um, client says they want the whole thing to run uh, parallel with this part of the house here. So I have to go back and change my uh, framing, deck framing, to just keep continue running like this. And uh, as we get up into the next level, the planks will run. Well, let's turn on planking. Like that. So I've got the framing where it needs to be, you know, with the um, piers, the beams, the double rim joists, etc. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of in a conundrum because I don't want to, um, I don't want to change all of this planking and all of this decking per se. Uh, or, or framing, I should say, all the decking here manually, nor do I want to change all of this manually, but if I do an automatic deck, then I have to change all of the rim joists and beams and such manually as well. So I'm trying to come up with a different route of doing this. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to save this file as version 2. And then I'm going to go back into recent files and open up version 1 because it's version 1 that is uh, connected to the layout here. All right, so version 2 is going to be what I need to copy over back to version 1 when I do the automatic, uh, frame, automatic uh, decking of this, of this uh plan here of, of this I don't know what I'm trying to say anyway you get the idea okay so this is at 10 degrees we're going to let's look at what I did for this deck plank direction is 170 degrees right that makes sense minus 10 and so I'm going to do plank direction here at 170. Then I'm going to, oh yes, I wish I could deck posts, deck footings, deck, deck planking, Nothing of this sets the rim joists for the deck, and I wish we had individual control over that, but we do not. Um, okay, so this deck structure needs to be nine and a quarter let's make sure this deck structure yes that's nine and a quarter okay now if I I've got the version 2 um, ready if I need to copy it but I'm going to come back here and go to my framing build framing dialog by double clicking on the framing tool 
and on foundation, my subfloor for floor one, my rim joist is going to be three inches wide. The reason I do that, in, um, Chief doesn't build a double rim joist at Dex, which I would like it to, but it doesn't. So I'm going to build a, a single three inch wide rim joist so that my my all my deck joists are framed at the right length, all but the ledger. Uh, so then I just will delete the three inch rim joists and copy the doubles over that I've already done the work on. So I'm going to take, I'm just going to do it like this. Let's go ahead and build this deck framing. I'm going to, I selected the deck and clicked on build deck framing. Let's see what that did for us. It did not do it correctly. Plank direction 170. Interesting that it did build the planks in the right direction. It just did not put the joists here in the right direction. So let's see if our joist direction would do it. I'm going to put that make it parallel to this. There we go. So I had to put draw the joist direction line uh, to give it exactly the dimension I wanted. So now that I've got the joist going in the right direction, notice it did delete the posts and the piers here. Um, I'm going to work on deleting all of the all of my rim joists. Now I'll copy these rims over. And and on my Mac, I use Command Option V for paste in place. Uh, on a PC, you'd be using Control Alt V. And then I'll do the same with the posts and piers. Copy this beam. Lastly, I just need to extend these joists to meet the ledger. So I'll select the ledger and extend fence line like so. And there, I do believe all of our information is accurate. I forgot when I do the file save as and you've got the layout open, it automatically updates this file to the new saved as file. So uh, I have to go back and relink these to the first version. That is all correct now. And there you have it. I hope this information has been helpful for you. If you like the information that I uh, and, and education that I put out, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that, uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.